So we started out really catering to the individual and small businesses that didn't necessarily have the power of a big agency behind them or the means to market themselves, to get their message seen. So we created a very simple, easy to use platform where anyone with a video message and a credit card could then market themselves uh, on the open web. So over the last two and a half years, we've amassed a, a massive uh, customer list, 30,000 global paying customers, 60,000 campaigns. And that's taught us a couple things. One, we kind of have the keys to success now. What makes a video go viral? Uh, what are the types of audience tactics that you need to leverage? What are the types of uh, measurement that's, that's necessary and optimization in order to drive audience conversation? Uh, we've amassed a lot of data as well uh, on that. So how do you take this data, package it up now for big global brands and agencies who now are all investing in content marketing? We think 2015 is the year of advertainment. Uh, we're seeing proprietary data on our own platform um, and also uh, third-party data that we've seen um, uh, also um, you know, demonstrate this. On our own platform, we had 70% of all content run through our system last year was over 30 seconds in length. Uh, Adweek at the end of last year listed their top 10 videos of the year. Uh, if you take the average of those 10 videos, the length was 2 minutes and 16 seconds. That's up 60% uh, from the year before, that's up 200% from the year before that. Every advertiser is investing in this type of content, and they're no longer constrained to the 15 second and 30 second um, shackles of the past, if you will. So I think the obvious answer to this is Red Bull. So other mm -hmm. than Red Bull, and it could be a client of your own, True. who do you think is doing that really well? Who's a, who's a brand and market that you think is like putting out compelling content? Sure, and Red Bull is a client of ours, and, and we do great work with them. They're awesome. Uh, yeah, they're amazing. They have great content. <laughs> they, they would call themselves a content company, less uh, an energy uh, drink company. Yeah. Uh, we've done great work with Under Armour, uh, the Misty Copeland um, video from last year was amazing. That was in the top 10 list. Yeah. Um, you know, we've done great work with Turkish Airlines. That was the viral video of 2013. Um, every category is investing in this from naturally the entertainment companies, but CPG companies, luxury goods. Um, there was a Citizen Watch campaign last year, six minutes in length. The guy gets up on a plane around the Arctic Circle and, you know, synchronizes his watch to the different time zones. People are creating great content. It's never Never been a better time to be a content producer, we believe. So, so bringing you know the, the Guy Ritchie BMW ad from two thousand two sure. or whatever that was. So when you think about linear television, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think that the advertisement has a role in, in TV? Could you see the 30, 15s and thirties going away for a two and a half minute you know single block one campaign? Yeah, it could be. I mean, how do you define television, though? Do you define television as strictly the linear feed that the MVPDs push out, um, or is it connected television? Is it uh, you know, Samsung has a hub where branded content can live. You have connected devices where people can discover other types of content. Uh, you have Amex creating their own channel. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got US Army creating their own channel. So there are new and unique ways in which to distribute content and allow people to access it versus just kind of pushing it at them. So do you, would it be fair to say then that you think that just TV is video and video is TV? Video is video. We have a video neutral strategy to it. Uh, the way in which you consume it is just a piece of glass, whether it's in front of you, uh, six inches in front of you or six feet in front of you. Okay. So are you at all interested in the, the linking of those two screens together? So it's best screen available. So you're watching football, right? Super Bowl's coming up in February. Sure. Fair to say that's on the big TV. Sure. What do you what do you see? Do you see any opportunity to have like advertainment that runs in you know concurrently with a larger screen or a smaller screen? Or absolutely, I think there's a great opportunity to synchronize those messages in unique ways. I think over 50% of people begin uh, begin a, um, a content consumption on one device and start it on another. Right? I do that all the time. I fell asleep before episodes end on TV and I watch the rest of it the next morning on my uh, on my iPhone. So I think there's a great opportunity to link those audiences together and tell synchronous stories. Awesome. So last question. Uh, one company other than your own in 2015 that you think is really interesting? Wow. Um, at the cross-section of advertising and technology, I think you always have to look out for the big G. They're doing amazing things out there, assembling their stack. Uh, I think you're going to continue to see a lot of consolidation in the ad tech world. Um, I think people that embrace and companies that embrace great content and great storytelling uh, are going to be incredibly successful. Awesome. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you.